Well folks, Tave here and to the face to the face. So I got some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay here for you. Spawn trapping some people on the high rise and to with me I have Fwiss all the way from America. How are you doing, my friend? What up, Tave the Babe, you Swedish prince? How are you doing, yes. man? Uh I'm doing really good actually. Do you remember when I called you Fwiss Fiss? Fwiss? 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 Yeah. yeah. You uh don't worry, you're not the only one. For for whatever reason a lot of people uh, have trouble with my name. That's uh I, I mean, think it's especially just part of life. for like uh, like me being a Swedish person like W and F and everything you know it's hard. Yeah, so, you say uh, some of your words funny. Um, like yeah. uh, I I said, oh, you're so jelly, and you're like, I am so yelly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And like, do you want to go to the gym? <laughs> in G instead of well, J. It's like great. The first though. couple it, of it, days it, in America, I, didn't I say like Ge Geo Wars? How, how was I saying this? Geometry Wars. Geometry Wars. Oh man. Yeah. So for I, all you guys that don't know, I geometry. Geometry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, but no, it was good, man. That was funny. It was a, uh, it was good times. And I have to actually just give you props for being fluent in two languages. I actually took Spanish in college, and I don't know dick about Spanish. Pretty much cheated through college in Spanish. And uh, I actually envy people that are able to be fluent in two languages. So props to you, man. Thank you. I mean, uh, for the guys that don't know, uh, you were one of the guys that I lived with when I was in LA. Uh, I lived with Jay and Diesel as well uh, in your apartment in Burbank. Uh, in case of somebody that don't don't know who you are. Yeah. You, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, take like that. Over. I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, for my door, uh, I have like uh, backdraft in my entire apartment because it's so warm. I'm trying to get like air breathing to Yeah, That's yeah, dude, I'm... you're dying right now. Because actually, oh, during so this dual con, I have video of you. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's it's 86 degrees Fahrenheit. That's like, what, 30 Celsius? Yeah, 30 Celsius in my yeah, apartment. Yeah, and um, you, you look like you were just, you know, completely destroyed, bro. Yeah, I mean, one of the reasons also hairs. is because uh, I just cleaned my entire apartment and I went around like a freaking tornado, just, and that makes you warm. Yeah, you are not Swagger 5000 right now. No, definitely the swag's not. Swag's the negative. There's not a girl in, like, so far, you know, like, in any vicinity in here, so it's just cool. You can look like shit in my apartment if you want to. Yeah. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna have to come out there real soon, dude. Yeah, you know, we're talking, we, we talking about that. Um, that you, that we should just start planning you coming over into Sweden and just so we can make videos and have fun. And I want to show you uh, America and everything. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to the executives over at Machinima and see if we can leverage me being, since I'm the community manager to. Uh, I need to go out there and do some videos. Yeah, you, you do. There. I think we need to pull that card, man. Yeah, and also I'm gonna try to. Uh, this I'm feeling a little bit like I'm. Um, cheating on you but i'm also trying to get c nanners over here oh my goodness so maybe actually we could do it you don't worry that's all right that's not cheating on me no no i mean freeway. i mean imagine just having adam here that would be so much fun c nanners if is we awesome. had, yeah you me and c nanners dude going out we could be making some videos it'd be a really good time yeah dude that would be so much fun um all right, i'm gonna conspire on my end to see if we can make that happen you should definitely dude, i'm gonna um, include scanners in this package yes c swiss package uh only nine bucks at walmart actually. yeah exactly yeah. 9.99 dude <laughs> buy one get one man. yes um dude i want to talk about uh because you and me we kind of like clicked a lot when i was hanging out in uh, in sure. la you, you kind of you mentioned saying that i'm like your american brother which yes. i think is hilariously you're my swedish brother yeah exactly yes, that's probably yes, a little yes. bit more correct you're the, the swedish version man i we got along together because we both got a uh, very outgoing personalities and we like to have a good time and that uh that worked out really well for us in the la scene yeah. yes i mean i i remember uh the second weekend like yeah, when we were heading to that uh, club now it's, i thought we were going to talk about like random stories when uh, like reminisce you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of no nostalgic. Uh, I kind of hate nostalgia like a lot because it's it's kind of sad how much people just are more nostalgic and is talking about old stuff than actually doing something new and funny. You know. Well, we have we have good memories, and then we're gonna we have yeah, you and me. I mean, but no other way. people just like I ha I'm hating on other people. Definitely not hating on us because we're awesome. Yeah, yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Well, the you want to find a good balance between nostalgia and then also looking forward to things in the future. When you find yourself only reminiscing and not making stories as they, as you go along, then that's where it gets unfortunate. Exactly. But it's, it's, you gotta have a healthy mix of both of them. I remember that I, I wanted to talk about the time, uh, like that, that weekend when we went to that uh, really big club. 
Yeah, um, that shit was really but I, fun. My mind was blown when it, it was like, you know, dance music and stuff, and Diesel was really pumped up about uh, going there and stuff. And I remember we were having Sark and uh, his wife and stuff in in the you're standing Sark's in the line wife there. Is the coolest woman in the world. Yes, they're so. I don't. I literally wanted them to adopt me. That's how much I like them. <laughs> Sark and his wife are like. The, first of all, Sark. Before I even worked at Machinima, I was like, "That's the funniest man alive." Yeah. And then you get to know him in person, and he is. I swear. I swear to God, just as funny, if not funnier. In person, even in goddamn meetings, this person, Sark, makes me crack up. Yeah. And then to meet his wife, it all makes sense because she's like the coolest woman ever. They're like the best couple. Fuck, I would let them adopt me too. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. Uh, so, yeah. I, I mean, I remember because that was the kind of, i only been there a week, like in, uh, in LA and stuff. And uh, I remember like the, the security guard, like there was a hole in like the line in check. You remember that? Yeah, Where, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Where Diesel, like, he asked, like, oh, if you, for 40 bucks, I get you in the front of the line. And oh, that's right. Oh, and my, my God, mind that. was just blown in, like, out of proportions. I was like, he's literally, this is happening. This is yeah. like, it's so, so unSwedish, you know. We paid the bouncer and he brought us up to the front of the line. And yes. that was actually worth every dollar because that line was fucking yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, we would long. never, we got a little bit too late. And it was like, it was 8 p.m. I've never been out that early. Uh, oh, I was like, out to like 3 30, 4 o'clock. Bro, I remember because uh, we were hitting on those girls, like the yep. UCLA girls who were standing, like we were making out and stuff with them. Yeah, I, mean, and they I did, made out with the, uh, the chi that sexy Chinese girl from yeah, UCLA. Yeah, and then they uh, they said we're going to go to the bathroom and they didn't come back. And I was literally yeah. like, you don't do that in Sweden. I felt yeah. so like, I was so pissed. I'm not really pissed. I know, you were real like, sensitive, man. You know, yeah. it's just on to the next woman though. Exactly, man. and I remember you guys leaving and it was only like me, Diesel, and uh, Anton. Like there's so many names now, but yeah, uh, and I found like another girl that I was there, just Dave. that's probably psyched. what happened, dude. That's probably why they had to leave. Yeah, but no, that was, that was a that was a, a, a what else happened that night? Oh no, I remember. I was too, I was actually starting to make out with like a like a grenade, you know. I don't I, I don't really <laughs> want to talk about it, but you were taking one for the team because the girl I was making out with was sexy as yeah, hell. Yeah, dude, I was drunk. I was really drunk. I, I remember. I actually have Diesel sitting in the room with me, and when you said I was making out with a grenade, I looked up at Diesel, and he shook his head, agreeing with your statement, dude. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, what was so funny it was uh, since you know it was American dollars and everything. Like in the beginning, I had kind of like trouble, you know, knowing how much money like in dollars and everything. So I think I spent that night. I spent it like three hundred bucks. You yeah, remember yeah, that? No, that we, was... I remember we talked. I think collectively between us, yeah, it was like four or five hundred dollars. Yeah. Because I know I spent like 150 that night. And yeah, I know you the, you spent a lot more than I did. Yeah, because I was yeah, just like you, I was you just bought, spending you those dollarinis. Because I you know I, I had money and I don't like well it's like it's not nothing I mean, compared to big, Swedish bro. money. But then I realized like the day after like how much did I spend? And I only <laughs> bought drinks for like grenades and stuff. It was kind of like stupid, but so funny. No, no, like, no, yeah, it was for, a great time. No, no, yeah, no. I, I, we wouldn't have done that any bit differently. I also remember when we were waiting to come in and you were so shocked with like the women in LA. Oh, like like yeah, how many so many just like were. pouring out of the limousines and stuff when we're standing in line. Dude, I was like then I was also auto aiming just all over the place. My head was just spinning. Just like yeah, dude. Crazy. Yeah, you were you were you were ready to snipe bitches in the club. As as <laughs> yes. the I don't know. There's something about. Uh... I really, really like uh, girls that have like a nice, like they dress well and stuff like that. That that was what I noticed the first about um, you know LA women. They were so nicely dressed. You know, dude, they get they get in their like cocktail dresses, man. They're all tan. They get the titties oh, yes. hanging out, bro. Oh man, we're I can't ready, wait to go ready back for that dick as much as we're ready for them. You know. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's what's great that's about true, it. true, man. It's so true. Yeah. I never really said that sentence, but it actually does make sense. <laughs> that is, I mean, that is actually oh, what you should actually good. live by. Yeah. That was oh. a fun night, dude. That was one of many nights, though, because we, we had a lot of shenanigans. Also, you had a, a pretty crazy story when we had First Friday at Machinima, and then you and Diesel yes. went out, and you, had, and you had to go, you were with those two girls, and you guys had to go, like, to this private party, but you didn't have bun down shirts, so exactly. you went to shop. Express. Yeah, we went, uh, we went to, like, a clothing store and just bought, uh, Probably like fifty dollars shirts, both of us. Yeah. Uh, just to get into this club and try still hang out with these women that we found, like at the, like the first. Well, the girl there. you were talking to, they were actually they were both really cute. Yeah, right? yeah. I'm, I'm still friends with her on Facebook. I'm definitely gonna like hook up with her. And try oh, to see if they want to do sure. anything when. What? Yeah, when you come back to LA, you exactly. need to call her. Out. 
though. Because then I, I won't have to start from the very beginning. You know? Well, no, no. You're now you, you just build back up on progress at this point. You've already laid the foundation your first LA trip. Exactly. And plus, that was the first night you hung out with that girl. And that went really well just in one night. So I imagine if you revisit, it's going to be even better for you the second time around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. I can't wait to come back. Um, it's going to be so much fun. The gameplay is actually starting to almost be over here. We got the LAN set up too, you know, you saw that, we had the four yes. Xbox. Yes, we have four Xboxes and four TV screens. Can't wait yeah. to sit down and play with you guys and stream Dude, some. We, we do like you, Hutch, and Nanners and matches. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like Hutch, C, Nanners, and I, and Diesel and Jay. Yeah. Yeah, dude, you're gonna have to get over here, man. Yeah, definitely. All right, guys, um, check out like the links in the description to Swiss channel and his Twitter and stuff. You're right. You want to say yeah, some last words? Yeah, I don't get to post a lot of videos because I work with Machinima, so I yeah. don't get to make much content. But yeah, man, uh, we we will have to do this again sometime. Yeah, definitely. Nice talking to you, man. See you nice soon. talking to you too, as always, brother. Bye.